hello everyone let's solve this problem right away we have k to the power of 4 minus 16 to be equal to 0 now this is what i will do first remember we have to solve this completely now you can just guess what the answer would be but then since we are solving this completely then we should have four different solutions now see how we'll get all of them now remember k to the power of 4 is the same thing as k to the power of 2 to the power of 2 because normally you multiply the powers then minus 16 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 right everything equals 0 now i'm going to break it again so i have k to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 and everything is equal to 0. from here we apply zero product rule or before then let me show you this if you have a squared minus b squared this becomes a plus b into a minus b this is called difference of two squares right now we are having square here and square outside there so we can apply this same difference of two squares so we will have k squared minus 2 to the power of 2 okay in one bracket and in the other bracket we have k squared um plus k to the power okay 2 to the power of 2 rather and everything is now equal to 0 but remember the one that comes first does not really matter it could be k squared minus 2 squared that will come first or k squared minus 2 squared may come after the positive one it does not matter right but then okay i want to take this step again k squared minus 4 in this bracket okay now in the other bracket i have k squared plus 4 and everything equals zero now let's go back and apply our zero product rule meaning that k squared minus 4 is equal to zero or k squared plus 4 is equal to zero remember our target is to have the four solutions to this problem okay so that has been our target up till now now the next thing is to take minus 4 to the other side as it becomes positive 4 okay or on this side k squared will be equal to negative 4 now we take the square root of both sides so square root of k squared will be equal to positive or negative square root of 4 on this side we have square root of k squared again will be equal to positive or negative square root of negative 4 okay this is interesting now what do i do this square root and square will cancel so that k will be equal to positive or negative square root of 4 is 2 then or square root and square cancels then k will be equal to positive or negative here we are going to have square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1 this is because you can find the square root of negative number so it will lead us to imaginary number that's why i brought out negative 1 from the root right now let us continue with this okay so <clears throat> from here now we already have two solutions okay so meaning that k1 is equal to plus 2 
and our k2 is negative 2. We have two solutions already. Now to get the other solutions, let's go there. Um, from here now, we have k to be equal to square root of 4 is still 2, right? So we have positive or negative 2. But then square root of negative 1 will give us imaginary number, which we call i. And here again, we have another two solutions, which is k3 now to be equal to positive 2i. Okay, and then our k4 will be negative 2i. Now, if you bring the four solutions together, then you have k1 to be equal to 2, k2 to be equal to negative 2, and then k3 to be equal to positive 2i, and then k4 to be equal to negative 2i, right? k4 is negative 2i. Now, let me take you back to the original equation again. The original equation is k to the power of 4 minus 16 equal to 0. Now, if you want to check your answer, it will work perfectly for k1 and k2. But then k3 and k4 are imaginary. Okay? Thank you for watching.